So today I made a bot to PvP against in Minecraft with the carpet mod. Enjoy! Now, the carpet mod is a really cool mod, but I will not be explaining everything about it here. For that, you will have to watch Nembomb's video, which will be linked down in the description. The cool thing about carpet mod is that you can spawn any player with the player command, like Nodge, for example. You can even make the players do stuff like walking forwards, for example. Or make the players do stuff for me, like here I'm making Dre mine cobblestone for me. Currently the skin isn't loaded because I'm not connected to internet. Now what I want to do is use this player command to make a PvP bot so that I can improve myself in PvP. Let's see how that goes. Step 1. Make a giant PvP arena where I can fight. This here is a circular arena which is quite easy to make with world edit. All you have to do is type slash less sill, the type of block and the radius we want and we set the height as 1 and you can see a cool circle form. Then spend the next 15 minutes pressing a button that I place in the center of the arena and spend the next 2 minutes doing this. Now I give myself a command block and place it so that whenever I press the button the command block gets enabled and via the command block we will spawn the bot. Pressing the button, the player spawns not at a suitable spot, so we'll have to put in the coordinates of the place where we want the bot to spawn. Now whenever I spawn the bot, the bot could be in game mode creative, so I'll set a command block to change this game mode to survival. And now this works very well. Now we want the bot to look at us. As it's quite important to have sights on your opponent in PvP. A simple way to do this is to do the command slash player boss name look at three squiggly lines. The squiggly lines represent the location of the player. If we do this, the bot will look at us. But if we move, the bot will still be looking at the place we were earlier. And we can't expect the player to do this command whenever they move. So we can put this in a repeating command block. But if we try this, the bot instead looks at the command block, not at us. This is because the squiggly lines in the command block represents its location. So to fix this, we can put this command, which just runs the command block at my location. So the bot always looks at me, even if I move. As you can see, if I spawn the bot right here, you will see that it does not look at me. But if I make the command block, you will see that it will constantly look at me. even in spectator mode. Now we can make the bot sprint and continuously move forward. Since it is always looking at me and since it is moving forward, it will keep moving towards me. And you can see it works wonderfully. Now if I spawn the bot, you can see it does work, but you will also notice that it comes way too close for doing actual pvp so we have to fix this to do this i use this command currently in its run command i have set it to say hi but basically what it does is if any player comes within 3.5 blocks of the bot the chat will be spammed with hi and if there is no one in the 3.5 blocks radius nothing will happen so we can use this in a way where if anyone comes within 3.5 blocks of the bot, we just stop the movement of the bot. Otherwise, we will let the bot continue running. And so I did that. Instead of saying hi, I made it so that it, it sets a block as a redstone block and then connected it to some redstone logic so that only when the redstone block is there, the bot will stop. Otherwise, it will continue on running. Also added another command that if I went more than 3.5 blocks away from the board, it will set the restroom block as A. And that now works. Now if our board gets too close, it will just stop running. And if we move farther, it starts running again. Now to make the bot actually attack. One way to do this is that whenever the bot comes near the player, we power a command block which actually attacks the player. This would work, but if the player stands near the bot continuously, the attack will only happen once and then the player will be safe. 
So the next way to do is to create a register loop like this and then connect it to the command block. But here what happens is it will constantly attack no matter how far the player is. To fix this what we can do is attach a sticky piston and a block on it and power the piston whenever the player is close to us. So only when the player is close to us the redstone loop signal will go to the command block and only then will the player attack. And then I give the bot an axe. So I did it. And this is it in action. You can see it attacks me once in a while. Then I made it so that whenever the bot is not attacking, it is holding up its shield. Because shield is very important in 1.9 plus PvP. And after a huge amount of tweaking, it sort of seems to work. Although not that well. And after a lot of tweaking and also giving it an ability to jump, I added a boss bar which showed the health of the bot. Then after doing a lot more tweaking, adding some potion effects and rechecking everything, the bot was done. Now, the bot was very hard to kill but possible and for no reason at all, I decided it wasn't hard enough. So I gave it 50 hearts, a lot of regeneration, hyper saturation and also made it attacks harder to dodge. And finally, the bot is completed. Also apparently, you could do this with the cup and wand. And also did you know it takes less energy to hit the like button than actually trying this in Minecraft. So spend that one joule of energy into liking the video. And finally now it's time for an epic dying montage. And finally, thanks for watching and have a good day.